The day actor bit the dust to the overwhelming support of MEPs. After five committee votes against actor, an international agreement designed to fight counterfeit trade, the writing was on the wall. The devil is in the lack of detail. A vague text is dangerous and we cannot guarantee that civil liberties will be robustly protected by the treaty provisions. Actors stoked public controversy from the outset, with street protests building around a perceived threat to the internet freedoms of individuals and fears of Big Brother oversight and prosecutions. The EU argued it's an agreement for our days, protecting the intellectual rights of creators, designers and inventors, and giving Europe an edge over global competitors. Counterfeit medicines, uh, counterfeit spare parts for airplanes is not only a threat to health and livelihood life in Europe, it's also a threat to competitiveness in the European economy. And to combat those things, we actually need international cooperation. The European Commission fought in vain to give time to the European Court of Justice to reach a ruling on whether ACTA breaches EU law. ACTA is not an attack on our liberties. It is a defence of our livelihoods. What is legal today in the European Union will remain legal once ACTA is ratified. But MEPs didn't want to wait. It was a victory that had one civil society opponent hey, close to tears. Champagne, are you? It means that the, the EU policymaker cannot ignore anymore the voice of citizens. It means that interconnected citizens through this global public sphere that is the internet can literally change the world. When and how that will be is unclear, but already opponents are preparing themselves for future battles. ACTA has suffered a major setback, but they understand it'll be back with a new face.